displaying the glory of God's creation by visiting every state park, national park, and national forest in the contiguous 48 states. Welcome to Parking Full Time with Big Dave the Parker. Welcome back to Parking Full Time. I'm Big Dave the Parker. We are at Cumberland Island National Seashore. We are just off the coast of Georgia, down here in southeast Georgia. Closest city to here is St. Mary's, Georgia. We just rode the ferry for about 45 minutes from St. Mary's over here to the island. You can only access this island by boat. Today is Thursday, February the 2nd. And the temperature here right now is a very pleasant 74 degrees. It's a sunny, beautiful day here on Cumberland Island. The plan today is to do a four and a half mile loop around the south end of the island. Right now we are headed southbound on the river trail. We got off of the ferry at the Sea Camp dock. That was the second ferry stop. We are headed down to the Dungeness Ruins. That's just under a mile away. And then from there we will head east over to the beach north along the beach, and then back across the island to Sea Camp. And that will be our hike for today. As I mentioned in the short that I recorded on the ferry uh, that, uh, that I released earlier this week, I've been waiting about 17 years to come here to Cumberland Island National Seashore. And so I am really excited about this hike today. So let's get into it. We made it down to the Dungeness Ruins. This mansion dates to 1896. And these, so therefore, these are the ruins of a, a mansion, a plantation mansion, that existed here before the establishment of the National Seashore. Very interesting. I like hikes with a little historical twist. And this is definitely historical. So we're about a mile and a quarter in now. To continue, we are going to head down to the left here and head out towards the beach along the marsh. We exited the east side of the Dungeness plantation ruins, and then we turned right at a sign that said Salt Marsh, and that led us down to this boardwalk. It opens up to good views across the Salt Marsh. Now one thing about this island, there is a herd of wild horses on this island. And I can actually see one of them off in the distance there. Not sure if you can see it on camera. I'll zoom in. So I'm not sure you can see it. So that's interesting. Odd wildlife here. Also, there are some birds. Oops, too far. Some interesting birds you can see here. Really special place here on Cumberland Island. Alright, maybe we'll keep headed down the salt marsh and we'll keep going. We finished the marsh boardwalk and then we climbed over the dunes boardwalk and whenever you're doing a coastal hike like this 
there's always this one shining moment when you first walk out onto the beach. And that moment is right about now. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Look at that sugar white sand. It's also important to take note of that post right there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to walk a mile and a half up the beach. And when we get up to the end of our beach walk, we'll need to look for another post similar to that one. And that will tell us that it is time to spot the trail that will take us back to the starting point of this hike. Absolutely gorgeous out here. The soft sand's a little hard to walk in, but it's gorgeous to look at. All right, so we are going to head northbound up the beach keep going. We're hiking along the beach. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. There really is no replacing the sound of the crashing waves. The only thing we have to be careful of is we have to be careful to watch for the black and white striped post up here because this beach continues for like 20 more miles. And we're not going to go that far today, so we have to watch for the black and white striped post to make sure we don't miss the trail that will take us back over to the boat landing, which will be the end of the hike. That right there is the pole that we have been looking for. That tells us that our hike along the beach is over. So we will take one more look behind us. It's a gorgeous area out here. And we will head into the dunes and begin the final leg of this hike. Back to the boat dock. We walked across the dunes boardwalk and then through the campground. There's a primitive campground. This is over here to the right. That marks one of the large group sites in this campground. And now we're heading out the Sea Camp Road, which is the last leg of this hike. This will take us back to the dock where we'll meet the ferry, which will take us back over to the mainland. This has been a fantastic hike. As I mentioned earlier, I've been waiting 17 years to come here and do this hike. And I finally did it, and it was worth every day of waiting. I do want to thank you for watching. There are over 30 million YouTube channels you could possibly watch. You choose to watch Parking Full Time. And for that, I appreciate you every day, and I thank you every day. If you like this sort of thing, please click the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. That helps more people to find this video, and encourages me to bring more of this sort of thing your way. So I've got a couple tenths of a mile to go on this access road, so I'm going to close down this video. Until next time, I am Big Dave the Parker for Parking Full Time from Cumberland Island National Seashore, off the coast of Georgia. Have a great afternoon, take care, and Lord bless.